here, um, that small report we say make we show on as the level they be, uh, making no be like say because of pandemic, Shelley, you just sit down for house, get it back, say, uh, and the one where I know, now I know so, and they say, go get more skills, acquire skills. And this morning, we get our guest who will join us, uh, we'll be CEO of Ripple's Impact, and uh, Asha Adeni, and uh, I person go follow us talk this matter this morning. This whole skill acquisition, we the one they encourage our youth to be more proactive, may they uh, sharply, sharply, they, they put hand for things to get new skills, we go fit better their life. Our guests will go join us this morning, don't they, online via phone calls this morning. Uh, good morning, oh, thank you for joining us on the Good Morning Ninja Show. Hello, good morning. Uh -huh. no, good morning, Asha. Asha. Good morning. I did here with you Sunday, and now we go run this matter with you this morning, as it be. Oh, good morning. Yeah, good morning. All right. Um, oh, gosh, I don't say, when, when they talk about the issue of job creation, people mm -hmm. like to they talk about the jobs of the future, the jobs of the future. You get people when they talk, say, our education system, they cater to the jobs of the past. Yes. And not the future. So, yes. I want to so I discuss this matter of skill acquisition, not for the sake of, say, just to acquire extra skill. Mm. Make we look the need to acquire skill where go they relevant yeah. in the future. Now, yeah. having said that, right, our current um, infrastructure development where we did right now, um, you fit in a wishful thinking, make person acquire skill for the future, bearing in mind say the infrastructure, not just they relevant, or you feel say when it comes to school um, acquisition, especially vocational skill, nothing like job of the past and job of the future. Yes. Are they clear? Yes, very, very okay. clear. All right. I, I think that um, the number one thing when you are uh, trying to do anything, especially learning a skill or starting a business, is that you, you have to look at the market. Is okay. the market available? Mm. And if you look at Nigeria, irrespective of the infrastructure that we have, we have the market. You know, every day you see people complaining about their fashion designers, you see uh, people, customers complaining about their mechanics, uh, about their plumbers and all that. So the, the uh, even painters, you know, the market is there. So for people to, uh, especially people that uh, probably didn't uh, go to university or haven't gotten any job, you know, for a while, the, the uh, market is there for them if they have a skill. You know, and if you have a skill that uh, maybe by a licensed uh, body or by a licensed company and you learn that skill and you are able, you know, to practice it well, you can start a business out of it. You know, the, the, I think the, um, maybe the myop, myopic view is that, oh, well, how can, will I learn a skill and go and be working as a mechanic or be yeah, working exactly. as a plumber? But, you know, if you are looking at it as, oh, this is something that I learned, I'm good at, and I'm passionate about, mm -hmm. you discover that maybe six months, one year down the line, you become a business owner training others, mm -hmm. you know, in that particular skill. Uh, so, Oga, so see, the market is there. Okay. A good as you talk, say, the market is there. Now, we are going to touch one of the conversations that you make regarding the fact that you talk, say, person go feel, feel say, hey, how go they go, they, me, we be graduate with so, 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 so degree, go come go, they learn it, to they do this kind of work, how people go take see me. You know, feel say, that's one, self. Now, one of the major reasons why the market they there, but the people to enter this, uh, this skill uh, level, no one willingly enter them because of the way the society go take, uh, you know, see them or go take look them. If you say that will not be one of the major reasons why they will they lack for that aspect. Yes, you are very, very correct. You are very correct. And one of the reasons why uh, people have not been encouraged to go into skill acquisition mm -hmm. is because of this reason, because they don't see enough value yes. from it, and they don't also think that people value it. You know, they don't value their time. And, you know, in other climes where uh, a plumber can hold five houses, can build five houses conveniently, mm -hmm. good, very good houses in good areas, you know, it's not like that here because we don't value the time of our plumber. So until uh, maybe there is a government policy where uh, the, the value is rated per hour. So when a plumber comes to your house, you are paying per hour, mm. or there is a standard fee that really, you know, uh, measures the amount of work he has done, yes. you know, that really values it, 
you know, then people will begin to really, really dabble into that. People, people are venturing into vocational skills training now because uh, maybe the vocational skills training is free and they're not doing anything and that's just a side business that they can start doing. Mm -hmm. But we need to take it more seriously because it can be a whole industry on its own, a whole thriving industry that will build our middle class. You know, if we, we build new laws around how we value it, how, how the uh, market, that's the customers yeah. value, you know, vocational skills training. Makes so sense. you're absolutely right. Makes so sense. Asa, pending when the government wakes up to its responsibility in that area, eh? Uh, yes. Which, um, you know, which kind of skills you feel say, go day important for youths of today to acquire if they won't compete you know, for, for this ever-changing world, we'll say we did so. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, even while we're talking about uh, preparing for future skills, mm. you know, there are, some ski there are some jobs that it will really be hard for a robot to, to just come and take over. So let, let's say, for instance, now, uh, for a lot of people, and that's a lot of customers, a lot of the people in the marketplace mm -hmm. uh, that will be paying money to someone that has these vocational skills, you know, one of the, uh, it's hard for a robot to just come and do a mechanic's job or to come and do a plumber's job or to come and do a carpenter's job in your house or in your office. So these are some of the things. And in Nigeria, you know, you, we can all testify that we still need a lot of good people in this area, people that can do a fast job, people that are reliable, people that are diligent. And, you know, like the good book says, if you are diligent in your work, you will stand before kings. Mm -hmm. So if, if we can also focus on, you know, these uh, types of jobs and do it very well, you know, there is painting. I remember there was a time last year that I was really, really looking for a painter at Zemba, and I didn't get And the one I got didn't really do a good job, you know. Mm -hmm. And the reasons why I didn't go with the previous one is just because, uh, they, they always, um, what's it called, they always uh, disappoint me when it comes to time. So it's very important that before we start talking about ICT skills that has to do with programming, that has to do with computers, there's these other skills that you can do and become very good at, and then you can train more people, build a business out of it, and then, you know, you get what you want out of life, really. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, it's right. good say you don't Thank touch you. this uh, points of say other skills day aside because when with the people they talk about this uh, uh, acquiring more skill, they, they think of the technology part. Uh, I want to improve my own business, make a good. They think of how I want to take, uh, involve ICT and all those things. But you don't point them out. We get vocational skills we we they use for here every day, and because of the society where we day, a lot of times these things are not valued properly. So uh, as uh, Oite asked that question before government wake up to start to value them. How the youths go feel even do and make we even begin to value them by ourselves. What yeah. if you say the yeah. things where well, this one we don't get so how we go feel change that narrative of say okay I be graduate but I sabi paint. Uh, if I can't they push the painting come front, I no go feel bad if people they talk to me anyhow, talk to me like this. Mm. How you go feel say we go feel change that narrative as the youth where we be, make we leave government first on this issue. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think that we, uh, for anything, uh, there are days of little beginning. Mm -hmm. So we just, uh, the youth just have to see every uh, step, every process as a stepping stone to where they are going. Mm -hmm. They should always see it as I'm learning. And even though, for instance, you know, I said, oh, they can, uh, the, the vocational skills can be carpentry, can be... Um, uh, painting and all that, yes. it doesn't take away from the fact that they also have to learn from, uh, we, uh, we also have to learn IT. So IT can also speed up the, uh, what's it called, those things that you are doing. So you yes. can just learn basic IT, how to maybe sell your business online, mm -hmm. the blocks to join, to sell your business, you know, learn basics of customer service, mm -hmm. you know. And as you grow, as you become diligent, as you give your best, because there's nobody that will recommend, will recommend you if you are not giving your best. So. so those days of little beginnings are days of learning. You know, the first time, the second time, the third time, the, even the fifth time you do a job, you might not do it perfectly. There will still be some areas where you are lagging behind, where you need to improve, mm -hmm. you know. So those 
the, the youth should just see it as, oh, I'm learning. It's not, it's not, it's not going to continue uh, being bad this way. That's you know, right. we all know the story of um, the, the, the person that started mobile uh, toilet, you know. So it's not going to continually to be this bad. That's so right. it just, it's just because of what we have now. So we have to make do with what we have. And I think by uh, operating the uh, values of discipline, of diligence, you know, of excellence, uh, they will surely get to where they want to go to. All right. All Thank right. you very much, um, Asha, for your contribution on top of this matter. And Asha, Denny, now we're going to talk to since in the CEO Ripple's impact on the discuss the issue of skill acquisition, um, how youth, uh, suppose, they're encouraged to learn other skills um, to, to boost they have go, they have go put that market value. Yeah, market value. That way. Mm -hmm. They don't sit down and carry on the quality or they look in on the quality and go fit take care, survive for this world. We're going to take a break when we come back. Plenty of the on top of the show. Remember, Saturday and Monday, meaning to say Football Republic. Yes. We're going to be on Grand Ambuchi, the Laba. Laba. We're going to tell us waiting day. Laba, Laba. On top of the world of sports. No, come out.